Hello my dear students, good afternoon, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing good this afternoon. This afternoon I would like to share to you how to write an introduction and background of uh, the study of your chapter 1 which is the problem and uh, its background. So please watch this video from the very beginning until the end. By the way, before I will proceed to the main focus of uh, this video which are introduction and background of the study, I would like first to have some sort of recall on the component subsections of our chapter 1 which is the problem and its background. The first subsection is introduction followed by the background of the study, the scope and the limitation, statement of the problem, hypothesis, theoretical and conceptual framework, and uh, definition of terms. The concepts provided in this uh, video were patterned from the Swales Cars model of writing an introduction and uh, examples of the statements are also patterned from this uh, uh, reference uh, material and uh, of course this can be your guide when you write your introduction and background of this type. All right, let's proceed now to the introduction. The first component discussion of an introduction is description of uh, the topic to be investigated. What is the topic the research all about? Discuss all the characteristics based on uh, some literature. I emphasize here some literature so that uh, you will know how to cite the sources of uh, your information, which is just a courtesy to the authors and it's a part of uh, the ethical standards in writing uh, research. Aside from this, if you will publish your um, research work with uh, proper citation, it's automatic that your work will not be hit by plagiarism. So that's uh, the reason why I emphasize here some literature. And of course, uh, uh, please refrain from copy from the internet or blog and paste it in your template then claim it as your own it's not good it's not good you use published materials get the idea of the material organize it into your own and the site that's the best thing that you should do. Okay. Um, aside from the discussions, descriptions of uh, the topic, if there are government policies, laws, and the regulations strengthening the topic uh, to be investigated, and if you think some information of these laws need to be included, you can include it. I have heard an example of a thesis titled 
the stress factors and resiliency of public school administrators in Region 4. Hey, right here. One paragraph. But uh, if uh, this will be actualized, because this is in skeletal form, this might be three or two to three paragraphs. Okay, I will uh, just uh, share this one paragraph in connection to the title. One of the significant factors influencing the blank is stress. The stress is blank. This can cause blank. The stress varies in terms of labels such as blank, 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 and blank. Republic Act number blank strengthened the wellness program to enhance the resiliency of school administrators. Article blank, section blank, states that. Moreover, the DPED emphasizes the promotion of blank to counteract stress of blank. So, this might be your description on the topic stress factors and resiliency of public school administrators in Region 4. Let's proceed to the next point of discussion which is actually the problem behind this study. Why the topic is important to study? What's the problem? What are the causes? Why is research useful? Is there is the research within the agenda of the government, like the OST, Department of Education, Commission on Higher Education, National Economic Development Authority, Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Agricultural Research, and others. These are the component or components of your rationale. I have here an example related to the title which I mentioned a while ago about the rationale. It states Public school administrators nowadays suffered unprecedented illness like blank. The Philippine Medical Association reported that blank. In addition, DEPED claimed that blank. The primary causes of this illness are blank. In addition, the government considers blank as urgent priority, very urgent uh, priority. Okay. Let's proceed now to the last point of discussion, which is the current state of either knowledge consensus concerning uh, the practice or description of uh, the phenomena what is the state of knowledge what is the commonality of uh, the 
research knowledge you are proposing you might as well describe the phenomena and uh, as a matter of uh, writing this point of uh, discussion I have here examples of the statements which uh, might be used number one the general features of blank are well known number two it is generally accepted that blank three there is now much evidence to support that blank then number four these are blank open found that blank okay let's proceed now to the background of the study the very the the very first point of uh, discussion is summary of previous studies okay, there's an error this is actually the presentation of uh, the summary of related studies but this is not yet the review of uh, related uh, literature uh, the very purpose of uh, presenting um, in this uh, subsection is for you to provide information to the reader to the audience on what are those studies previously conducted which are related to your study and uh, it's not just a matter of presenting here but uh, its significance lies in the analysis of the weaknesses of this study which is actually the gap so in the next point of discussion you will write the gap so in the summary of previous studies i provided here example of uh, statements Abaro 2020 found that Marino 2019 revealed that blank Natano Natanyo 2018 recommended that blank Tejada and Bayangos 2018 showed that Santos 2020 Coronado 2018 and Javier 2017 concluded that period you can have at least uh, 10 but of course you will not bring all the discussions in the review of related literature and studies just a summary just summary of each um, study single statement per study would be enough for as long as the gist is already there okay so upon presenting this uh, significant uh, studies that's the time now wherein you will write the gap what has been found in the previous study was there a gap found gap is the missing link or missing aspect of the previous studies 
These are research that need further investigation. Ano pa ang hindi nakakandak? Yun yung gap. Okay? Example of uh, the statement relative to the gap presentation. Previous studies failed to blank. A considerable amount of research has been blank, but little research has been extensively studied. Research has tended to focus on rather than blank. So, when you will propose a title, be sure that the title was based on the problem and, uh, of course, the gap identified from the review of uh, related literature. Okay? Now, aside from the gap, you must or you should also have raising questions about the previous studies. Meaning, you are still have this in mind that uh, aside from the gap, you will be still question in mind. And uh, this question in mind should be part under your background of this study. I have four statements which will serve as your guide in writing your raising questions about previous studies. However, it is not clear whether the use of blank can be modified to blank. In spite of these early observations, the mechanism blank has remained unclear. The question remains whether stress factors and resiliency factors are associated with each other. Okay? Next, in our format, instead of having an independent subsection of uh, the problem and its background, or chapter one, we integrated in the background of the study in the later part. So significance of this study pertains to the, the value, the importance of uh, your study to the beneficiaries or to a number of individuals in the community. Example of uh, a statement. This study will be of great help to blank. It uh, blank. This is now the specific contribution or value or importance to the beneficiaries and other people in the community. And of course, the last is a statement imposing the conduct of the study. Perhaps you will say, therefore, it is important to conduct this study on blank. Okay. So, these are some points of discussions in your introduction and uh, 
background of uh, the study. I hope this will guide you in writing your first two subsections of your chapter one. Thank you very much for watching this video. God bless you all and stay safe.